Welcome back everyone to another video review and today I am reviewing Gentle Giant's Obi-Wan Kenobi collectible mini bust from Star Wars Episode 3 Revenge of the Sith which was also a limited edition piece through Entertainment Earth. Now this is a piece that I had been searching for for quite some time. I didn't jump on it when Entertainment Earth was selling it. Um, I can't quite remember why. I wasn't sure if it was due to financial matters or they sold out quickly. But I do remember picking this up on eBay or Amazon afterwards, um, quite some time afterwards. And I am absolutely thrilled with this piece. It's the only Episode 3 mini bust, to my knowledge, that General Giant has created of Obi-Wan. Because we do have the you know Clone Wars arrow, as you can see in the back. We do have the um, episode 4 Ben Kenobi in the back as well. There is the episode 2 somewhat classic bust that doesn't have the arms and we also do not have a Padawan Obi-Wan from episode 1. So you know slowly General Giant had been putting these out and we do have the new up-and-coming Ben Kenobi also from episode 4 and I'm just hoping that we do get a Padawan version soon enough. But first let's take a look at this piece including the packaging that it came in. So as you can see, this is one of General Giant's classic uh, packaging styles with the window box display. We do have the Entertainment Earth exclusive sticker at the top and at the bottom the usual Star Wars logo with the Obi-Wan Kenobi collectible mini bust um, text. We have a picture of the bust right here. And we have an image of Ewan McGregor as Obi-Wan from the film. Or it's more like a studio shot um, for promoting it. And let me see, it's kind of a long text, but if you would like to pause that to read the bio, go right ahead. And we have another angle of the piece right there. And as always, we have the edition size at the bottom, this one being out of 1,100 pieces, and this is number 763, as well as the COA that comes with it as well. So now let's take a close look at this mini bust. General Giant has always done such a great job at capturing certain human and actor likenesses. Um, of course, there's always a few that don't really capture the actual expression or the facial feature of a certain actor. And in this, you know, we do see in the background that they used Ewan McGregor's likeness for the Clone Wars era mini bust. And of course, for this piece, they used Ewan McGregor as well, since he was the actor that portrayed Obi-Wan Kenobi in episode three. Now let's get a closer look at the head sculpt of it. And personally, this is a older, quite an older piece. Let me take a look real quick on the box to see if there is a date of when this was manufactured. And it does say 2011, and I can't quite remember if that's the actual release date of this piece, but I'm assuming that is when it did come out because it wasn't around the time of the movie. And it's a pretty darn good likeness to Ewan McGregor. Of course, it's not perfect, you know, they essentially did what they could with the materials and technology that they had back then. But overall, you can definitely tell this is Ewan McGregor. And there's, you know, a few things. The beard might be a little, it might not be too clean. The hair is pretty much on point. Um, the facial expression is kind of dull in my opinion. It's not, you know, a typical Ewan McGregor look. I think the Clone Wars piece in the back also has that dullness, but at least that kind of has a more standout expression. This one is kind of more pouting expression that we have from the character and the actor. And, you know, overall though, it is a really good likeness. You can definitely tell it's Ewan McGregor. There's no questioning that it's another actor or another character from the film. And one thing I do kind of notice is Ewan McGregor does have that little, I'm not sure what it is, skin tag or that, you know, mole or some that facial you know feature if you call it on the forehead um the bump that's kind of you know stuck around with him and it's not a defect per se it's not a negative look on Ewan McGregor but you can tell it's Ewan when you see that in the movies and this one I think they made it a little bit too prominent they kind of made it look like a pimple less than a just a mole or a bump on his head that does also add to the fact that it is Ewan McGregor which is some part of the facial feature we do not see on the um, Clone Wars piece. So now getting a look at the rest of the minibus we have him in his typical beige or brownish color Jedi undergarments you know that they usually wear under the robes or it's their normal you know clothing that they wear and it's a really nice coloring they have on it it's, you can definitely tell it's the beige color and there's some dirt and brown sprinkling that is put out throughout it. Let me see if I can get a closer look at that. Hopefully you can capture some of the brown in the lighting. But it's definitely a really cool 
addition that they added, you know, all the little fine details that they put into this piece. And taking a look around, we do see the belt, his utility belt that has all the different pockets and uses. I'm not quite sure what goes in them. They're just, you know, closed pockets we have. But we can definitely see the different color brown for each pocket and the belt being one color all throughout. And of course, we do have his lightsaber as well, which in the package does come removable. So let me take a closer look at that. It's not the cleanest lightsaber sculpt or mold that we have. It kind of... I'm not sure if it was maybe in the molding process, but it kind of looks, you know, not the clearest and kind of looks dirty and bubbly in in the middle of it. But, you know, it is a good color blue. Um, I know it's like with the Clone Wars piece and some Sideshow and Hot Toys pieces, the blue is just very faded, almost looking like in the first release of Star Wars, you know, it almost looked white or clear. It is a very good blue color that they were able to capture for the lightsaber. And getting a close-up on the lightsaber hilt. You can't see it too much, but you know, you can still definitely tell it is Obi-Wan's lightsaber by the hilt right here and where the um, lightsaber does ignite. And there we have it, folks. That is just a quick rundown of the Gentle Giant Entertainment Earth exclusive Obi-Wan Kenobi piece. And again, you know, Obi-Wan is my absolute favorite character from the Star Wars universe. I am incredibly happy with this piece. It's another fine addition to the Obi-Wan collection, the Star Wars collection, and of course the Gentle Giant collection. So if you have any questions or comments about it, feel free to leave them down below. Thank you all for watching and stay tuned for the next video.